So as far as we know, if we want to go ahead and process any list, we can either use a for loop or a list comprehension. So for example, I went ahead and created these people over here. And let's pretend we want to capitalize all of them or uppercase all of them. So here we're going to go ahead and create new people. And to do that, we would go ahead and say that each person, which we want to apply the upper keyword to, for person in people. And when we go ahead and print the new people, we're going to get all of these names uppercased. As you can see here, we've created a new list with uppercase names, but there's actually a cleaner and more memory efficient way of doing this. And this is using the map keyword. And this video isn't aiming to replace a list comprehensions. It's just aiming to show you the difference between map and list comprehensions. So you can decide which one you want to use when the time comes. Now let's go ahead and convert this into a mapping function. So to do that, we just have to type in map and as the first parameter, we need to pass in a transformation function. So any function that returns a result given an input. For example, if we insert the string.upper method, this is going to return to us an uppercase string. And it's important we do not call it inside here. We just pass in the method name and we also pass in the list itself. Now, this is going to return to us a map object, which is very similar to a generator. So it's not going to generate the list, which makes this extremely memory efficient, but it will give us an iterable. So we have to go ahead and convert this to a list before printing it. And you'll notice that when we print it, we'll get the exact same output. And I personally believe that this approach looks cleaner than the list comprehension, and it's very easy to read as well. Now this function probably didn't show you exactly how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and create another function above this that can make it a bit easier to understand what it actually does. So here we'll create a function that says transform and it can be any function you want as long as it takes an input and returns an output. So here we can just say text and it will return a string. And all we're going to do is return the text plus an exclamation mark, if I can type that. Now, if we go ahead and just insert it inside here, we can say transform and we do not insert the text. We just say transform. It's already understood that it's going to use this and put each person into the transform function. So if we go ahead and run this, we're going to get every single person transformed into a loud version of themselves. I'm also going to show you how you can choose to include this so that you can insert the text. But for now, we're going to go ahead and see the speed difference between list comprehensions and the map function. So to do this, I actually went ahead and created a script that compares the two. And as you can see from earlier, we have the list comprehensions list that returns a list of new people. And we have the map object, which uppercases everybody and returns a list of them. And I also went ahead and created a function that gets the time. So it's going to run this test 500,000 times for each one of them. And it's going to repeat the 500,000 times 10 times. Then it will print to us the output speed of each one of them. And it's also going to give us the percent faster. So if we actually go ahead and run this, it's going to go ahead and first give us the mapping speed and then the list comprehension speed. And in this scenario, it was 27% faster. And if we run it one more time, the results are going to be nearly the same, except this time it was 25% faster. And that's quite a nice optimization for our program. Now, as with everything in Python, it's very important we use everything in the correct context. Otherwise, we're not going to achieve the speed optimization that we want. And one of these examples is when we use lambda functions. If we use lambda functions together with the map function, we're actually losing that extra speed that we could just get by using a list comprehension. So for example, we're going to say we have some numbers and that's going to equal one, two, three, four, five, big surprise. And we're going to create a new list, which is going to equal the map function. And I actually created a function here for this example. And we're just going to insert the process text so in general, we don't need to do this because it has one input and one output. So what I'm going to be doing is quite silly, but uh, we're going to create a Lambda function and we're going to say it's going to take number and we're going to process the text with the number that we insert. So that's a way to actually explicitly write what we want to insert. Now, if we go ahead and insert the numbers, it's going to go ahead and add an X to each one of those. 
And if we print this list of new list, we're going to get each number with an X following it such as this list over here. But as you can see, this is incredibly ugly compared to the list comprehension equivalent. Here we just process the number for number in numbers, while the mapping function is not really so adapt at handling these kind of situations. And in fact, it does not speed up your program when you use Lambda functions with maps. So make sure when you use a Lambda function that you only keep it as simple as possible. It just looks a lot nicer if you just want to transform it with one simple function. Otherwise, list comprehensions are definitely the better choice. And I actually created a quick script that times these two functions. So here we have the Lambda function that achieves the same result as the list comprehension. So what I did is create the exact same test as from earlier to see how fast they perform. And when we run this program 500,000 times, 10 times, we're going to see that the map lambda performs even a bit slower than the comprehension. So to sum up this lesson, it's very important that you use map when it is necessary because list comprehensions are a lot more readable to a lot of programmers. So that's a big bonus of list comprehensions. But when there's something simple as uppercasing everything in a list or multiplying everything in a list, I would say that map certainly wins, especially since it has such a short syntax and it's also very memory efficient. But in a lot of cases, list comprehensions should still be favored. Although, as I showed you earlier, for an example like this, list comprehensions are a bit silly because you need to add all this extra syntax just to achieve a simple uppercase transformation. But on the downside, you do need to convert the map function to a list each time you want to consolidate it. Otherwise, it's going to be like a generator where you can retrieve each value in an extremely memory efficient way. And that might be what you want or it might not. But that is the power of map. So I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think about it. But with that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.